Hi, everybody. I am Lauren Zima coming to you from ET's makeshift England right here. So our lives are stressful, guys. Times are crazy. Luckily, the British royals have blessed us all with some sorely needed joy in 2018. They are giving us a royal wedding. We're a fantastic team. We know we are. Yes, the ET family is so excited for that fantastic team of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to tie the knot. So we will be here each week counting down to their nuptials by bringing you the latest updates on wedding planning and just all the royal family news during this joyous time because of course remember Duchess Kate is bringing us some happiness too. baby number three is due in April and we want to know what you guys think leave your thoughts and questions in the comments after all who doesn't love to live vicariously through royalty so starting off with some breaking news Harry and Meghan just hit their first official evening event together in England honoring service men and women they went to the Endeavor Fund Awards on Thursday Thursday. It was a rainy night. Harry donned a striking blue suit and oh, look at Meghan. She went with a blazer and a cropped pant. Yes, a pant. But we want to note that's Alexander McQueen she's wearing. Meanwhile, Will and Kate were over in Norway where they stunned at the Royal Palace. Kate giving us full bejeweled cape glam. That's on another level. And now wedding planning. Where are we at? A source tells ET Meghan and Harry are quote in the thick of it. Their wedding date is coming up Saturday, May 19th at Windsor Castle in England. And our source says Meghan has had her first fitting with a dress designer. A source tells ET Meghan's parents will be involved in the ceremony that she wants her 73 year old father who lives in a quiet town in Mexico to be in England and walk her down the aisle. She is also very close with her mother, calls her her best friend. Meghan's parents are divorced, but when the engagement was announced, they released a joint statement wishing Meghan and Harry happiness. Now, while all of that is traditional, Meghan is already getting a reputation for breaking the British royalty mold. She's American. She's an actress. She wears messy buns. And the Sunday Times reports that she might, oh, gasp, speak on the wedding day. Yes, Meghan is apparently considering giving a toast at the reception, which would be out of the royalty norm. There will be about 800 guests at that reception, but one thing that's up in the air is Duchess Kate Middleton's involvement. So let's move into our royal report. We are looking at Kate and Meghan's relationship for this report. Meghan and Harry said this when the engagement was first announced. Catherine's been absolutely um, She's been wonderful. amazing, as is William as well, you know, fantastic support. So Catherine's been amazing, but I want to bring in Sophie Shalacy because she has been monitoring all things Will and Kate. Come on in, Miss Sophie. Hi, hi. So Sophie, it seems like Kate and Meghan have been set up for a really successful bond, but what are those qualities that are helping them get close as future sisters-in-law? Well, to start, they're actually both 36. They're the same age, but more importantly, they are both non-royals. Oh, like us commoners. <laughs> yes. So they're coming from the same background. Hopefully that means that Kate can kind of mentor Megan through mm -hmm. this transition, which is sure to be very difficult. But what I love here is how close Kate and Harry have gotten over the years. Mm -hmm. Harry's been kind of a third wheel with Will and Kate through the years, and uh, the two of them have really developed this super close bond. So I imagine that has to translate to her relationship with Megan. Yeah, totally. If he's close with Kate, that'll help Kate get close with Megan. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they live close together, is this right? Yes, they're neighbors at the Kensington Palace grounds. And when Harry and Meghan get married, they're gonna move into an apartment and essentially be just next door neighbors. I love that though, because an apartment uh, to us is very yeah. different than an apartment to the Royals. I think <laughs> that Will and Kate's apartment is like four floors in yeah. Kensington Palace. <laughs> um, now, what I do also wanna get into though, is what exactly Kate's involvement in the wedding is going to be. Because at her sister Pippa's wedding, she wasn't even really in the wedding party. What do you think will happen with Meghan? Well, it's unclear what Kate's gonna to be doing because she's expecting her oh, baby yes. is due in April, which is about one month before the royal wedding. So we're not quite sure. She's gonna have to bounce back pretty quick, first of all. <laughs> yeah, that's a big ask. That's yeah. a big ask. Yep, absolutely. But her kids, Charlotte and George, will be involved. That we do know. Oh, that's gonna be adorable. I love watching them. So I feel like you are my Kate to Megan. Can we I call love it. ourselves Kate and Megan right now? I'll take it. Thank you, Sophie Shalacy. Thank you, Lauren. She's heading off to England herself, if only. So Kate is still making the royal rounds until she gives birth. Let's move over to our rather regal looks of the week, highlighting all that fabulous royal fashion. On Wednesday, Kate channeled Princess Diana. Yes, look at this red houndstooth coat, custom made for Kate by Katherine Walker. Now, 
Diana, believe it or not, wore a stunning, similar look back in 1990. And look at that, she had young Will by her side. Love seeing that throwback photo. Uh, Kate put her own spin on the look by pairing the coat with what we call an almost burgundy Chanel handbag. Kate and Prince William are on a four-day royal tour of Sweden and Norway. What a life they lead. And that means fabulous winter looks from Kate. You guys love this big furry hat and a long blue coat so simple and so subtly showing off her growing baby bump. We also saw that bump in this winter white dress that she wore. The couple is there speaking out about their big cause that they're always advocating for, mental health. But they had some fun too. Kate and Will both put on these fuzzy hats to play ice hockey. Kate, of course, though, wore a classic black Burberry coat because you got to play hockey in style. And we're going to end things on a little highborn humor. That's my attempt at an English accent. Harry and Meghan are getting married at Windsor Castle. It's a family favorite. The Queen spends a lot of weekends there. They have family functions there. But several outlets are now analyzing the castle and talking about how haunted it allegedly is. Windsor has actually had reports of more than a dozen ghostly sightings over the years, apparently. And one of those reported ghosts is none other than King Henry VIII, who seems a little perturbed. Quote, those that have encountered the ghost of Henry VIII have described a large, anxious, angry man pacing furiously and shouting loudly. So if Meghan doesn't end up giving a speech on the wedding day, maybe Henry can pipe in. But what do you guys think of the way that Meghan is planning on breaking these royal traditions? And how are you liking Kate's fashion with pregnancy number three? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching ET's Countdown to the Royal Wedding. And make sure to tune in every Friday morning where we will have the latest for you on wedding, baby, and more. Thanks so much, guys.